certainly coming into uh, the game tonight, I expected a, a lot of really good pitching out there with uh, George and, and Scoobal matched up. And uh, certainly, um, you know, Scoobal was, was right on top of his game, had all his pitches working, and, and George was, uh, I thought his stuff was, was good, just maybe not as sharp as we're usually seeing him. And, you know, they put a lot of pitches on him early, so he wasn't uh, able to get, you know, into the sixth inning or through it like he normally does. So uh, it's one of those games where, you know, you got to keep it close. You hopefully come up with a big hit at the end of the game and, and you win the game. And, you know, we did everything right. Uh, they just made a play. Uh, I thought, you know, the play that Meadows made on the ball that Cal hit, um, you know, it happens in the major leagues once in a while. Cal did everything right. He put a great swing uh, on a ball and smoked it. I wish he would have went about a foot farther. Um, but that happens. And you got to give their guy credit. He made the play. But, um, again, tough game. You're right there at the end. Um, and you know it's going to come down to a big game, a big hit if you can uh, keep it close. We did, and uh, you know credit to the guys out of the bullpen early did a great job to keep it there. Um, but you know they made the play, and and you do that at the big league level, you're going to win the game, and that's what happened tonight. So I'll take any questions. How off the bat, did you think Cal got enough to get over the wall? I thought I had a chance. I knew it was going to be close. Um, you know, and he hit it so high, it obviously gave Meadows a chance to get back and kind of time his leap, um, and he made an outstanding play. You know, I think everybody in the ballpark was as surprised as any, you know, as I was that, that the ball uh, was caught because, uh, you know, the ball goes over the fence, you're in great shape. You know, Mooney probably comes in the game and we end up winning it, but it happens. And uh, no fault of anyone's, uh, Cal did exactly what he needed to do. Randy got a big hit before that uh, to get Cal to the plate. It just, uh, they, they made the play. Scott, your relievers carried it till the ninth there and then it all fell apart at the top of the ninth. I mean, we didn't see Yimmy. Is, is he down? I didn't even see him playing. No, catch. no, he, he's he was up early. If we'd have tied it in the eighth, I think you know we're in a stretch of games right now. Um, you know where we're at, um, where you know how his season has gone. You want to keep him fresh, tied or up. He's in the game tonight, and those are the things you know you're thinking about. You know earlier in the day, looking ahead. You know this series, the next series, kind of where we're at. Um, you start start chasing games um, at this time of the season. Um, you'll look up and you're going to have leads and he's not going to be available. You can't pitch guys three in a row. You're not going to pitch him. You know, even the injuries he's had this year, you're going to be careful going three out of four. So, um, you know, if we'd have tied earlier, he would have been in the game. It's just where we were at in the ninth. I thought the guys uh, before Jonathan Hernandez did a great job. Um, you know, Hernandez just didn't control the strike zone and, and it come back and bite us. You've, you've been you've been pretty steadfast. Kind of that's how you did it in the past too, with Munoz and Seawall and your leverage guys. You're not bringing them in unless you're tied or having a lead, right? That's it depends how much they've been used recently, yeah. Ryan. And, and I think all that goes into the equation. And it's really great to say, yeah, just put put it in the game. You know, you're you're down by one, and then, you know, it just there's a lot that goes into it. Um, certainly understand everybody frustrated, but that's why everybody's got a job to do in the bullpen. And uh, Hernandez has been throwing the ball great. He just didn't throw strikes. And, you know, we gave them some free bases, and they took advantage of it. How challenging is it for you at this stage of the season, knowing that it's August and these guys have all been grinding and just constantly monitoring those workloads just from your vantage point? Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a lot of games to play. We certainly need everybody to contribute. Everybody's got to pull their weight, uh, get you three big outs, you know, in a down game. That's what they're here to do. They're major league pitchers, and they're certainly capable of doing that. So, again, it didn't go our way tonight. Um, you know, you needed to uh, – uh, like I said, everybody needed to do their job out of the bullpen, and we just came up a little bit short. So, um, got to get back after tomorrow. Uh, got a big game tomorrow, and then you know, a series over the weekend. So, again, frustrating. Uh, I mean, everybody is that the ball was caught, and there's nothing you can do about that. They made a really good play. Scott, with George, we've seen him kind of reel it back in at times. You know, he'll be a little out of sync. The, the pitch count will get built up. He kind of finds something because he's got such a repertoire. He can go to something and get going, but he just never seemed to really get any traction in the game. I have to give their guys credit tonight. I thought they stayed on a lot of pitches. They fouled off pitches. They weren't chasing a lot of breaking balls early in the game. Um, and I do give them credit for that as George has been getting, you know, some chase out of the zone. Um, to keep you know uh, the pitch count in check, and they laid off a lot of close pitches early in the game. Like I said, I didn't think his stuff was, I thought his stuff was good, just not quite as crisp or sharp as we've normally seen. And the command just to tick off early, and what's they're taking pitches, they're fouling a lot of pitches off, and they got the pitch count up. George, beyond them fouling off a bunch of call pitches and maybe not getting a few close calls, it looked like they weren't chasing at a lot of out of zone pitches as well. I mean. How much did that kind of play into them driving up your pitch count early? Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I wasn't really uh, landing my off speed for strikes to begin counts usually. So, 
you know, the ones that I was throwing in the dirt, they didn't really have to honor him. So that was on me. Um, yeah, they battled a lot and it was really annoying. Um, definitely got the pitch count up there. Um, yeah, just uh, had to be a little more fine and probably start the count off with more strikes and then I could expand from there. So, Was it just like a lack of feel on some of those? No, I feel great. I just, um, you know, sometimes you just don't hit your spot. Uh, I think it was one of those nights. George, they were able to get on top of a couple of fastballs. I, I, the, the Homer Rogers said, I, the look on your face is like, how did he get that? Because it was well above the zone. Yeah. Are you are you sensing teams maybe are trying to hunt for that pitch? <clears throat> I saw Boston do it to you do it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that type of swing, he was probably guessing heater right there. Mm-hmm. I mean, I put it exactly where I wanted to, you know, three, four or five balls up above the zone. Um, but, yeah, that was another bat. I think I started 2-0 and kind of had to battle my way back in the count. And, um, you know, Kudos to him for getting to that, but like you know, it, it doesn't do me any good if I'm, you know, not starting off the counts with strikes, so they can kind of sit on pitches more often um, than usual. Yeah, I think you only had 13 of 23 first pitch strikes. I mean, that, that's not very typical of you, is it? Yeah. <laughs> How have you noticed teams kind of, I guess, like adjusting to you in that regard? I mean, you know, you obviously have a reputation in the league at this point now. Just how have you noticed, like? Ryan was just saying about kind of predicting that high fastball. Uh, man, I mean, I'm going to keep throwing it there. Like, that's a good spot to throw heaters, uh, especially two strikes. There's a lot of whiff there with that guy. You know, he made a really good swing. But, uh, you know, like, I just got to be more fine. I'm never going to stop attacking the zone. That's what I do well. Um, more teams are in swing mode than others. Um yeah, so I just like I just got to be more fine, get in, get in on guys, break their bats a little more, um, and first pitch strikes probably help a little bit more too. Kind of just um, allow me to take control of the game a little more. Because you can't. I mean, I would. It sounds like you're saying you can't get away from who you are as a pitcher just because yeah. they're making adjustments. You yeah, still have to stay true. To yeah, the I always want to pitch to my strengths. Um, you know, there's times when you when you when you shouldn't, but like. You know, 95% of the time I'm going to attack the way I do. So um, it's got to be a little more, you know, fine with some of those pitches. You've had some big pitching matchups throughout this season, but you know, going up against Schoolville today, just, you know, what goes in your mind knowing that runs are going to be at a premium? On, on the- yeah, I mean, he's a great pitcher, but, like, I, I, I don't watch games for a reason. Like, I don't care what the other guy's doing. Um, they just kind of control what I can control. Um, yeah, I mean, if anything, you just got to, you know, it's going to be a tight ball game, so try and just limit, you know, big innings and stuff like that. Uh, I thought I did a good job when guys did get on second to lead off some innings, but, uh, you know, overall, I think just need a little, need to just get in the zone more first, first pitch, so. Thanks, George.